Right, hi again. Um, my little book post was really popular the other day. I can't believe how many hits I got on my blog that day. So to keep that ball rolling, hopefully, a quick video about another book and putting something together that doesn't necessarily involve stitch. Um, I don't always stitch in the books. Like I did in this little one the other day, if you remember, put some stitches on. But sometimes, I don't know if there's any in here, I just stick things in, um, little bits of paper perhaps that I've worked on before, like these will be torn scraps that are stitched on but not on that day when I actually did the video, so there will be little scraps of paper that I've stitched on previously and saved, um, and there's another one here, probably this one, there's no stitch on this at all, there's a little thread wrap card there, and there's a bit of paper that I've painted and I've perhaps doodled a bit to extend the torn scraps. So I didn't want to stitch on a page today, I just wanted to kind of play with some scraps. And here, this is good for me to do this actually, because in a minute I'm going to be making videos for class and it gets me going and it is like a warm up exercise. This is one I did a long time ago, it's like, I call it a colour matching sketchbook. But this is actually paint, okay, so there's a lot of paint in here, but otherwise it's just things stuck in. Um, just ripped bits of postcards stuck in, um, little bits of wrapping paper and little bits of card that I've painted. I suppose maybe this isn't appropriate for today. Um, just little swatches of thread, uh, sorry, fabric that I got as samples from Celia Burtwell. So, you know, it doesn't always have to be about a stitch as a warm-up exercise to get your creativity flowing. Um, so what I've done, I've got a box in the house that I keep. Like, this is a bit of Designer's Guild wrapping paper. So I've taught, I've bought that to use in collage and there's torn strips of it in that box. There's little bits of things that I've worked on before that have been excess to what I needed and I've kept them. I keep everything, there's another little bit, there's another little bit and there's this, this was a painting that I didn't like so I've cut it up and I use it in these little books. And here, this is a little bit of stitched paper that I've used before. So they're all out of my goodie box this morning. This is a book. Um, it's an actual Swedish storybook that I bought when I went to Sweden. I don't understand a word it says, um, but I think it's about this little insect person and her life. And there's all kinds of things in here. And again, just stuck down, like a picture of my own work stuck down and a bit of doodling on there. And um, these are just things stuck down. This is another picture of my work and stuck down. There's no stitch on that page, it's just sticking stuff down. Again here, bit of painting, no stitch on the page and a few little fabric swatches. Another picture of my work there that folds out like that. So you know, you can make a nice page. This is work that I've done. Finished pieces, samples, and then they're stuck in. Um, and then there's this page, which I'm not very keen on to be honest. Don't really like that, but I'm gonna live with it because I did it and it's, you know, it's a lesson learned why I don't like it, that will inform me in the future. So I'm gonna work on this page, but when I work on these little books, I try not to hide everything. Because you know, some beautiful illustration in here, and the person who did this doesn't wanna think that I'm gonna come along and wreck her work. So what I thought was, I'll try and put something together down here. Um, part of me wants to put this in, but I don't know if it's gonna fit. So I'm quite open to leaving things out if I don't think they're gonna fit. So I might tear a little bit of this because I like this edge on here. So, if, and I'm, what I'll do is I'll just play for a little while and see how I feel. And if I don't, say I don't use this, then I won't throw it away, I'll keep it. So that, see I don't like that, that's what's putting me off. Um, so maybe if I move away from that and go here perhaps, put that there. And then that doesn't need to be cut. That could go there maybe. I'm just playing. I'm not nothing set in stone here. Now sometimes if these have been stitched, you can't tear because the stitches go across the back. So you have to use paper scissors for them. But what I would do, let's say oh well, it will tear down the middle actually, because the thread's going the other way. So I'm just trying to see. That's putting me off. Maybe. what I could do I've got an idea I'm going to turn off and do something and come straight back okay that took me longer than I thought it's a good job you weren't twiddling your thumbs right what I did I printed it I printed this page 
and I'm going to use it to cover this page up and then that's not distracting me with its hideousness but how I might do it actually is I might stick it down that way and then fold it back right now I don't I can't think of a situation where I use glue glue as you know it I do use sometimes an archival paste for collage but I don't use PVA or Yoohoo or anything I really have a loathing for glue and um, for example if I was to put glue in here on here it could seep couldn't it it could seep and go through to other things that are in here and spoil them so I avoid glue like the plague so this is double sided tape so let's just see right so that's there so if I stick that carefully like that then happy days I mean it might have altered the page but that doesn't matter happy days so much better to work on a surface when you haven't got something here distracting you because you don't like it so let's have a play with this I'm not sure that this is strong enough to jump out the page colour wise let's uh, tear a bit of this Maybe it's the page. No, these are all a bit pale, aren't they, really? If I, what I might do, let's have a look. So if I kind of create like a... Like a base, almost, of colour. Perhaps. And then, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to cover the whole page. That looks quite nice. I quite like that. I wonder can I fit that in. Um, I'm reluctant to hide this writing because I quite like text. I like to be able to see text. No, that's not a good move. It's better like that. Yeah, maybe there. Make this a bit smaller. And there. And then I keep that text and it still looks nice. Um, I could be here all day. See what else I've got. That's too big. Um, well, what about that and then that? Well, that and that looks quite nice. Actually, that looks quite nice. I like that. And then put that across there. This, I'm not going to put this in just for the sake of it. I wonder if that would live there. No, because it's nothing it's got nothing in common with the other stuff. No. Perhaps have that bit on there. And uh, that might be yeah, that's it. I'm gonna do that. So now we'll keep all these and then we'll go back in that box that I was telling you about. For next time I need to limber up a bit. So now I need to stick these down. So it's going to be double sided tape again. So if we do this bit first. Now whether I'll doodle or not I don't know. Because I'm running out of time. I don't really want these videos to be longer. And too long. work to do, class work to attend to. There. Do this bit. We'll actually just put a bit on the back because it's not going to get a lot of wear and tear. It's just going to sit on this page and be turned over occasionally. 
so it doesn't need a lot of uh, adhesive as such. Pick it up. Come on. And then that bit. See that thread hanging off there? I like that. I'm not going to do anything with that. That's nice. That little thread. Put this on here. Find the end. I'll put a bit on here while I've got the end handy. Should make life a little bit easier. I mean, really, these videos are probably too long. Because you know, mostly you probably come here just for a quick look, not to hang about, you know. Put that there. And get this one. And it's a lovely way of storing your scraps. And then if you come back to look at this, you might think, oh, that paper worked really well. I'll make some more of that. It's nice to have a stock of these things, um, I think. Because you never know when you're going to need them or when you're going to use them. If I do that, where am I going to put that? I'll add it in the middle. I think maybe there. I don't want it on a straight line with that one more. So, why? I don't know. I just don't. There. There. Now I could doodle on this. I could actually add some colour to that in many, many ways. Um, I could, for example, it's all very neutral colours, isn't it? And greys and things. So I'm trying to see. I think the one that I'm thinking of is probably in the other room because I've been using it to draw on fabric. I'll try a brown, brown sharpie. Like I could, I don't really want to because I'm not. But for example, I could do dots there and dots down there. I could extend these circles out of the page. I could extend that line up there and down there. Okay. Um, look at your patterning and try and extend your patterning. That's what I could do. I'm reluctant to do it because I don't feel like my head's focused on it. Um, but yeah, so that's another page put together and also hidden something that I really don't like. So I'm going to turn off and um, I don't, like I say, I don't want it to be massively long.